let's talk about the demand curve of a monopoly. So the demand curve of monopoly slopes negative from left to right. So we have the price P1, price P1, and price P2. Why it is slope negative from left to right? This is because the monopoly is a sole producer in the, in the market, but also is a, also the sole a price maker of the price system in the market. That's why the demand curve for monopoly slopes negative from left to right. So monopoly is a sole producer in the market, but also is a price maker in the market system. As you can observe. So when the price increases, quantity demanded falls, and when the price decreases, quantity demanded increases from Q1 to Q2. So example of revenue for monopoly, we have the quantity price, total revenue, average revenue, margin revenue. So the total revenue is given by taking price times quantity. So when you take out 1 times 8, that is quantity times price is equal to 8. 2 times 7 is equal to 14. 8 divided by 1 is equal to 8. So that is how it is. So the marginal revenue is given by taking the total revenue 2 minus total revenue 1. So that is 14 minus 8, then 2 times 1. As you can observe. Uh, margin revenue is given by taking the total revenue 2, total revenue 1, Q2 minus Q1. So you get, you get 14 minus 8, then 2 minus 1. The same applies, you obtain the answer, that is 55. So, uh, the demand curve for a police firm is fairly elastic because the seller can either determine the price or quantity, but not both that if the, if uh, he fixes a higher price, then the quantity demanded will be lost. If or she supplies much of the commodity, the price would be lost. So in such situation, the seller is a price maker because he can influence the price in the market. The marginal revenue is normally below the average revenue demand curve. So when it's the when the average revenue falls, then it means that the marginal revenue is below the average revenue. So graphical, we can demonstrate the, this concept over here. So we have, as you can observe, the marginal revenue is below the average revenue, and the average revenue is upward. So when the average revenue falls, it means that the marginal revenue is below. So in the left, we have the price in Tanzania shillings and the quantity as well, as you can observe.